Complex coding projects can be like juggling chainsaws while riding a unicycle. You're switching between architecture and lots of different contexts and just trying to keep everything up in the air, hoping that nothing crashes before you reach the finish line. Let me paint a different picture for you that you've probably lived through. You're working on this massive project and your brain is literally kind of like melting, trying to keep track of everything. You've got architecture planning opening and open up in a tab over here and implementing the code over here and debugging errors popping up in your terminal from other places and all the time trying desperately to think about all the documentation you're gonna to have to update. And even with the best AI coding assistance, you're still constantly switching around or attempting to cram everything into one massive conversation that is so long and bloated that you can't find anything in it. And then even worse, that long context window is either really costly or it causes the AI to start hallucinating things that aren't even there. And that leads to a lot of justified mistrust in you know, AI coding overall. But there has to be a better way, and there really is. This is where Kilo Code's orchestrator mode changes everything. Orchestrator mode, formerly known as Boomerang Tasks for Roo Code, is now a built-in feature right inside of Kilo Code, thanks to our friends at Roo. It automatically breaks down complex projects into smaller, manageable pieces, each one handled by a specialized assistant. It's basically like having your own dev team working for you, an architect planning, a, a coder for executing the implementation, and a debugger and tester for when things inevitably break. Let me show you how I used it yesterday. I wanted to update a simple like UTM URL tool that I wrote to store some of the state in local storage and make that accessible to the user. So I described what I wanted to Kilo in orchestrator mode. It immediately suggested breaking this down into subtasks, separating the concerns of front end and UI from the back end and the actual functionality of the feature from the user controlled settings page. When I clicked approve, the main conversation paused and boom, a new conversation opened in architect mode. This mode is specifically tailored for planning. It can read files and create documentation, but won't mess with your actual code. The architect helped me design the feature and asked me implementation questions and then even created some sweet diagrams. When we finished, it gave me a concise summary of all the architectural decisions we made together. Here's the magic part. Only that summary went back to the parent task, not all of the back and forth we had about different approaches we could take. Then the parent task kicked off a code mode subtask with those architectural decisions already baked in as context. This mode then went and implemented everything according to the plan, with full access to modify the code base. It only got the context it needed to go and implement this feature, which made its context window A, more efficient, and B, more focused on the task at hand. And again, only a summary of what got done goes back to the parent. But the orchestrator doesn't just blindly trust developer mode, it actually starts a browser and tests the functionality against the specifications that we agreed on. And it actually found an edge case bug that wasn't accounted for. So it delegated just that bug to a new debug mode task, which fixed the issue, tested it, and returned it to the orchestrator, who still double checked it. This is probably gonna be the most bug-free my code has been in a long time. As I've said before, I was an early AI skeptic. Autocomplete's cool, but I've seen a lot of AI products that just output a lot of non-working code slop. But orchestrator mode, combined with the latest models that seem like they're improving every week, it's a game changer. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this has completely transformed how I think about using AI when it comes to handling complex projects. So maybe more accurate is my thinking hasn't changed, but my execution has. I've always known that the best plan is to break down massive projects into manageable chunks that don't overwhelm me, handle one task at a time, keeping it contained, keeping the number of variables that I'm changing as low as possible, and then repeating that until I'm happy with the overall result. The difference is now, orchestrator mode operates a lot more like me because it starts by breaking down the project, not just diving in and changing code right away. Each piece automatically uses a specialized mode then that's best for that specific task, and the main conversation stays focused on the high-level stuff instead of drowning in all the details. And the results from one subtask flow into the next. It's so smooth. Oh, and here's a pro tip that not many people realize yet. You can actually set it up to use different models for different tasks. So some of the planning tasks that need more reasoning can have those models, but then you can 
use cheaper, faster models for implementation parts. That's smart resource usage. And as one developer put it, before orchestrator mode, it was so wasteful to have Gemini 2.5 Pro do everything. Now instead it plans out the work and then cheaper models execute that plan. Orchestrator mode is available now in Kilo Code 4.19.1. Install it from the VS Code Marketplace or visit kilocode.ai to learn more. And it's all linked down in the description. Please let me know in the comments if you give it a shot and what you think about it, or join our Discord server and chat with others who are AI curious like you. And if this video helped you out, hit the like button, consider subscribing for more content. We really want this to be a useful channel for developers who are trying to understand how AI is actually gonna help them in their workflow, not replace them. And to do that, the way is to just not code by the line, but orchestrate by the kilo. Catch you in the next one.